When I mention ideas like atheism, veganism, or antinatalism, you think of them as modern creations, right? Well, what if I told you that a brilliant philosopher poet was championing these very ideas in an Arabian caliphate over a millennium ago? That luminary was none other than Abu Ala al Ma'arri, whose beautiful poetry and groundbreaking ideas still turn heads today. Before we learn about his work, I want to give you a quick overview of Al Ma'arri's life. Al Ma'arri was born in the year 1973 in the city of Ma'arra in the Abbasid Caliphate. He was said to have a privileged life, being from a well-off family in an economically booming city. Unfortunately, he was not destined to enjoy this privilege. At the age of four, Al Ma'arri caught smallpox and fully lost his eyesight, living the rest of his life as a blind man. But Al Ma'arri did not let his disability stop him from living his life. He focused his energy on learning. He pursued education in literature and Islam in Aleppo, as well as other major cities in the empire, including Antioch and Tripoli. During Al Ma'arri's way to Tripoli, he visited a Christian monastery where he listened to debates about Hellenistic philosophy. The style of skepticism he learned from these debates would continue guiding his work for the rest of his life. Al Ma'arri later traveled to Baghdad, which was the capital of the caliphate at the time and one of the largest and richest cities in the world. Al Ma'arri only spent two years there, but he was very well known during that short time period. He would frequent the most prestigious libraries and literary salons of the city, gaining a reputation of intelligence and beautiful poetry, but also as a controversial thinker. Al Ma'arri left Baghdad and returned to his hometown after his mother's death. Then, at the age of 37, he renounced his material wealth and lived as an ascetic for the rest of his life, and observing a strict vegan diet. Al Ma'arri died in May of 1057, at the ripe old age of 84. Despite his ascetic lifestyle, Al Ma'arri garnered a lot of wealth from donations for his work and had become one of the most important people in his hometown. He never married or had children, and the epitaph on his gravestone, which he wrote himself, read, This is my father's crime against me, which I myself committed against none. As we've established, Al Ma'arri held many controversial beliefs for his time, including the three I mentioned at the beginning of the video. We're gonna get a quick snapshot of his philosophy by going through these three ideas one by one. Okay, so I used the word atheism in the intro to this video, but Al Ma'arri was actually more of a deist, meaning he believed in the existence of a god or a higher power of some sort, but he rejected organized religion. He believed that pure reason and rationality is the only way to understand God and his message. Needless to say, this was a very controversial belief at the time, yet Al Ma'arri proudly expresses it in his works. In one poem, he said, Humanity follows two worldwide sets. One, man intelligent without religion. The second, religious without intellect. And in another, he wrote, Do not suppose the statements of the prophets to be true. They are all fabrications. The sacred books are only such a set of idle tales as any era could have. And finally, there is no imam but the mind who guides by day and night. As you can see, Al Ma'arri did not mince words when it came to his opinions on religion. These views also seeped into his longer works. For example, one of his books, Al Fusul wal Ghayat, has been described as a parody of the Quran. Another, Risalat al Ghufran, describes Al Ma'arri's journey to paradise, where he meets the ancient Arabian poets who inspired him, sort of like an Arabian divine comedy, except 300 years earlier. The poem is controversial because it implies that these poets went to heaven without being Muslims. Another criticism by Al Ma'arri against the dogmas of his community. Al Ma'arri's antinatalism was understandable given the life he's lived. He once described himself as a double prisoner of blindness and isolation, which surely contributed to his view of life as painful. He would frequently express these views in his works in a creative way, one of his verses read, The earth's surface is but bodies of the dead. Walk slowly in the air, so you don't trample on the remains of God's servants. As well as the previously mentioned epitaph, This crime was by my father done to me, but never by me to one. They would abide by these antinatalist views as he had no wife or children of his own. 
Finally, we come to veganism, which is arguably Al Ma'ari's most revolutionary idea. As far as we know, he is the first recorded vegan advocate in history. While there are earlier records of vegetarians, most famously Pythagoras and his cult of vegetarians, Al Ma'ari was the first to argue the ethical necessity of abstaining from eating any animals or animal products. Al Ma'ari fully expresses his vegan views in a poem he wrote later in his life. You can pause the video if you'd like to read it, but you can clearly see that he advocated against the eating of fish, animals, milk, eggs, and even honey. I hope this video showed how truly remarkable Al Ma'ari was. It's incredibly impressive that he had such innovative ideas and the courage to share his beliefs let alone the fact that he delivered them in such beautiful poetry that it even impressed his ideological enemies. And we didn't even cover all of his other progressive views, like his pacifism or anti-monarchism. Anyway, I think we can end with one story from the modern age that perfectly encapsulates Al Ma'ari's legacy. In 2013, Al Nusra Front, a branch of Al Qaeda, took over a part of Al Ma'ari's hometown where members of the group beheaded his statue which stood in a public square and sprayed it with bullets. Almost a thousand years after his death, Al Ma'ari's rationalist and humanist views were so ahead of their time that even his statue is still getting attacked. I hope you enjoyed learning about Al Ma'ari's life and if you did, please like, subscribe and comment. If you'd like to know other inspiring stories of endurance from the region, you can watch one of my previous videos. I think you'll enjoy them. Alright, see you next time.